Okay, let's talk about Seamoss versus Shilajit. A lot of people have been asking me to compare the two, so let's do it. Seamoss is a type of algae that contains 92 minerals that our body needs for proper function, including iron, iodine, magnesium, potassium, and calcium. However, most genetically modified or farm-raised Seamoss does not contain the 92 minerals. So in order to receive the maximum benefits of Seamoss, the source at which you're getting your Seamoss is absolutely vital. That being said, CMOS has amazing skin, gut, and immune health benefits. Now, Shilajit, on the other hand, is a form of Ayurvedic medicine, and it's a tar-like substance that comes from the Himalayan and Tibet mountains that contains 84 minerals and nutrients that are beneficial to our overall well-being. Shilajit is primarily comprised of humic and fulvic acid, which are absolutely instrumental when it comes to increasing our nutrient absorption rate, along with boosting our immune system and our energy levels. Both of these have incredible health benefits, but in order to receive the maximum benefits of each, you should, one, take these products in conjunction with one another as these shilajit is going to help increase your nutrient absorption rate allowing you to absorb more of the nutrients and minerals from both of these products and two make sure that you're getting these products from reputable sources you don't want farm raised or genetically modified sea moss that does not have all the nutrients nor do you want shilajit that has traces of heavy metals to be totally transparent, I've yet to find my favorite brand of Seamoss, so if anyone has any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. But as for Shilajit, I love natural Shilajit. I have it linked to my bio, so be sure to check that out. But as always, do your own due diligence and always do what feels good to you and your own body.